I'm looking at this leaf with the set or this little chunk of leaves. We're looking at these five leaves and we want to think about how are we going to approach painting this? Well, we've definitely lightly drawn it out, correct? We've all lightly drawn it out. And this is going to be a challenge because we're doing a gradation of value. And I see some subtle texture in this leaf, right? See some subtle texture. And I see all the hints of the, the veins with the green in there. And the stem is more of a red. And so, wow, we've got our work cut out for us today. So we're gonna get busy. So we're gonna start here. I'm gonna get my yellow good to go and I'm gonna use a medium flat brush. So I need to make sure my medium flat brush is clean and good to go. Now, today when some of my friends got their paint brushes, <coughs> the bristles were all squished up and they got put away with the bristles down. Make sure that either the brush goes flat in your bin or sits straight up because we don't want those bristles to get nasty. All right. So I've got my palette of color and I just want to put a couple drops into the uh, yellow. If it's dried, you know, they should be, excuse me, somewhat wet <coughs> <coughs> from yes, or from the previous class. Of course I get a frog. <coughs> All right, so put some in the orange and red. <coughs> And a little in the green. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Sorry, friends. All right. So I'm getting some yellow. <coughs> and I notice on this right away that the edges are jagged. So I'm going to start just by kind of, oh, you can't see, oh, shoot, I'm sorry. Sorry, there it is. I am just working it in slowly and I'm keeping everything pretty wet and then I'm filling it in. And it should be somewhat moist So I've used that brush to fill in. I'm now switching to my smaller round brush and I am grabbing just a wee bit of red and I'm gonna just go along the edges and I'm gonna drop color in. So that drop color is just kind of bleeding in. Oh yeah, sure, sorry. Oh, I sounded very Minnesotan there, didn't I? Oh yeah, sure. Do you need paper? Tell me, friend. And so I am just kind of dropping a little bit of color in. Um, I'm going to go to the base of this leaf and I'm just going to paint it somewhat solid here. I don't want to make it very wide. Oh, that feels good. We, the thing that we're really working on as we're painting is that brush control to a certain degree. And now I'm gonna dip back into the yellow with my small brush, and I am going to push that red around that we dropped in there earlier with that drop color. And of course, I kind of see my pencil lines, um, but if this was our final, we'd have much lighter um, pencil lines. And then I'm just for fun gonna pull this color up the side. And if I need to, I can take my paper towel and blot that color. And it does have a little bit of a glisten to it. I do recognize that on the smart board. It's red, good question. Cause you can't really see that very well. And so when the red 
bleeds into that yellow, we get a little bit of an orange. But what it does is it sharpens up our edges and you really are working on that brush control. So, do I need to pause? Yeah. Okay, I'll pause. So <clears throat> All right, so now I'm going to grab a little bit of that green, and I'm looking at that green, and it goes from the top here, right? It's so light, and then it kind of works down that center vein. So I don't, that's too much green paint that I have on right now. I'm gonna kind of bleed it off on my um, paper towel. And I'm just gonna start at the top here. And I'm just gonna put drop colors down. I'm going to grab my flat brush. And I'm just gonna put, oh, look at how, that's too green. I got too much green in there. So I can blot that color here shortly. But, or I just make it work but I think I can get it out. I put too much green down, so I'm gonna blot with my paper towel. Oh, look, I muted it, fabulous. I will take my yellow paint now and just kind of go over that just because I did get a little wily and see if I can get that to blend out a little bit more. And it's amazing if you really take your time and try to gain that brush control that you can get things to work for the way you want them to. So, I do notice that I have a little bit of red over here on the opposite side, so I, or um, just a hint of it. So I am gonna go back in and just grab a little bit of red and drop that in. Just to get it to sharpen up and crispen up. And I dipped my brush right back into the water just to get it to flow a little bit more. And this feels pretty good. For the most part, I'm going to take my sponge now and I'm going to pick up some of that color. At the same time, I have a little bit of red left on mine and it adds just a hint of texture into it. What's going on? Are we good? Good? Um, am I going too fast? Uh, the other thing to think about as I'm doing this is we've got this pulled vein. So I want to show you a little trick as you're kind of working still. So we did that green line coming down, right? So I'm going to take the end of the uh, chiseled tip of that paintbrush. I'm going to come up and I'm just going to go over that line to pull that vein. And then I'm just gonna do some smaller ones. Remember to try to get the lines to curve with it. We're gonna let that dry and we will come back to it and fill the color a little bit. We'll drop some color into it. <clears throat> so if I don't like the texture of the sponge, I can use my paper towel or I could use salt. Those are three options. But I do know that at the base of that leaf, it is a lot richer in terms of color. So I am gonna take my small brush and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna crispen up that red a little bit on where the stem meets to that middle point. And then I'm gonna creep up the side there going into my next leaf. I wanna keep everything really in control. So I'm gonna pause there and let you guys catch up.
All right, are we ready for the next leaf? Yes or no? Yes, no, yes, okay, great. So, again, uh, this time instead of starting with the flat brush, I'm gonna start with a round brush, a medium one. And I'm going into my yellow and just kind of scooping it up. And I'm gonna fill this with yellow. Again, I wanna be mindful of those sharp edges. When I first started this, I just made the, I just drew it out with a, a pencil, you know, and the rounded lines. So now I am taking my brush and I am kind of defining those sharp little points of the leaf. And what I noticed right away on this one is that there is all those little flecks of red. And I think that some of you have a watercolor pencil that is red or pink. Um, you could sandpaper some of the color into that. So I'm gonna do that with mine. I think I have, I have one, at least I thought I did, I do. And I am going to take my sandpaper and I'm dropping some of that color into it. And the other fun thing too with using these watercolor pencils, so we did that little you know spray or sanded some of that color off into it, is I'm looking at the edges and I'm going to draw into this little leaf and I'm pulling the color out with the yellow that is already down and this is a nice way to kind of gain a little bit of control with the watercolor pencil. Um, some of us might go, oh this is not working for me, this does not work the way I want it to, but it's one way to approach doing a watercolor detail is by using the watercolor pencils. Um, when the time comes, when we do our final, I will. I have one set of watercolor pencils that we all can uh, share and use. I mean, of course, I have a variety of singular colors, which I got at a low, 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 low price. So now I am going back in with my small round brush and I'm kind of blending the colors and crisping up the edges because I like to use a brush rather than a pencil. Um, but to each his own, you have to figure out what works best for you. And I am pushing the color around slightly. Um, it is a little thick, but I don't, I don't mind that. We got those watercolor sandpaper pieces to really kind of blend in and make it feel a little bit more natural. And I have to go back to the image and I notice that there's green on there. So I need to get that green in. So I am gonna pick up a little bit of green. And I'm gonna start, ooh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm changing my mind here. I am gonna pull a vein and I'm gonna have this green follow that vein, that central vein. And I'm just going to kind of dot through the middle there. I'm not like uh, making the line connect all the way through. I'm just dropping color into that line. Then I'm going up around the edges and I'm just going to drop some color into there. And I know that we will need to soften this, of course, but just to get that color in there, it's feeling good. Get it to bleed into the yellow. Nice. Um, I might wanna pull a little vein down that way. We don't ever want to just kind of have the veins go all the way through, um, like connecting so it looks like a Christmas tree sort of thing. We want it to have some misconnected lines so it feels more natural. Or I should say an evergreen tree. All right, that looks pretty good. I am gonna grab my sponge now. And remember, uh, sometimes when you use your sponge, you should wring it out, but most everybody should have a pretty moist sponge right now. And I am going to pick up a little bit of the color and I am blotting it because it is a little wet. I have a little bit too much moisture, but then at the same time, um, 
it's nice to get that texture in there. Now, this looks a little flat. So what we need to do is we need to lighten up certain sections. So we're gonna do a little lifting. So we're gonna take our paintbrush. I have water on it and I'm really working that edge on it. And I wanna have that paper towel there as I'm working and lifting to kind of blot it because we want this to feel like it has some dimension and a highlight to it. So I'm doing that and lifting. Oh, that feels better. I'm liking this already. Going back over, kind of, oh, look at that. Adds a little dimension. Down here in the lower right, again, I wanna do some lifting, working the water back and forth and pulling up the color. Whoops, I got too much, that's okay. I can kind of go back in and soften that. And that feels good. This edge, I got a little bit too much red there, but you know what, it works. Going back over. Nice. Now, I do see that this edge is a little hard, so I am gonna see if I can soften it just a little bit. And I did dump that yellow on there because I don't like how, how hard edge that looks. That feels much better. I'm gonna give it a moment and then I'm gonna use my paper towel because I really like the texture on this white paper towel to pick up just a little bit of color. All right, that feels better. Um, do I need to do the next one with you? Yeah. Okay because I was gonna let you guys do it alone, but I'll do it with you. All right, so I'm looking at this one. Again, I see that I have those red tips here. You see that little red there, red there. We have red here, red there. Let's try something in reverse now. I am, what? Okay, I am gonna take my, color, my watercolor pencil and I'm going to, before I put the yellow down, I'm taking the watercolor pencil and I know that doing the tip, because I just kind of want to see what's going to happen. And I'm putting down the red where I think it would be. And that I know down here in the base. And then I'll do a little here. So I'm doing some kind of pre-work here, using just drawing that color in. You have to do this with watercolor pencils. Regular water, or regular color pencils won't work. Does anybody want this red color pencil? Are we good? Are we good? Okay. So what I'm really looking for were, uh, on these watercolors is to really, if they don't look like the leaf, that's fine, but I want to see that paint control happening and trying to figure out how to use all these different techniques together. So now I'm going to grab, um, you can choose either your round or your flat, and I'm dipping into that uh, yellow, and I'm going to start to fill that up. The leaf up. I am getting some water. I probably will do some more lifting and feathering on this on that leaf. I don't feel like that leaf looks the greatest. Got to get that to look a little better. And when I come across that area that I have the watercolor pencil in already, I'm going to blend that color out. Oh, that looks good. Look at that. But we want to be careful that when we do this, and take the, our brush back into the yellow that we don't take any of the red with us. So we really have to be mindful of that. I am gonna dip into the water. And I'm pulling, there, that looks good.
All right, so that feels pretty good. Is everybody caught up to me? Yes, no? So this is a nice uh, base layer for starting in on our green or our leaf, you know, with the red. We will have to add more red, but now we want to add some green. So I am going to grab a touch of green. And green, I, you know, this is the hard part. You don't want to grab too much. So I always kind of wipe it on a paper towel before I begin because I'd rather have too little than too much. And then I'm dropping that color in, a drop color, and just kind of working it up the edge there. And I am going to take my flat brush and I'm going to pull it in like it's veins. Feels good there. Then I'm going to go draw in this vein, but not a complete solid line. Just a light dash line across. I'm going to take my flat brush and kind of roll through and push that color in. All right, and I'll do the same thing with the other side with that green. I'm gonna try to get it to be a little thicker. See what happens. There we go, nice. And then on the edges here. So it just has that hint of it's turning. Nice. Dropping in a vein too with my brush, not making a complete line. And then taking my flat brush, Kind of getting that to feel like it flows a little better. I am going to take a little bit of my red paint with my small um, round brush and I am going to sharpen up some of those points on this. Because I want that color just to be a little bit richer. I love how it just subtly bleeds in. I love that when it does that. It's... And then I am taking this, just kind of pull it around there. So it kind of naturally feels like it's, the leaves are changing. Okay, I could do uh, sandpaper again with this, or I can take my sponge and I can dip it into a little bit of, you know, red. And I could dab it in there if I needed to. Ooh, I got a little wily with that. That's all right. I might take my other edge of my, and dip a little yellow in there and soften that up. And I'm gonna go over that edge one more time with my green. The hardest thing with watercolors is just kind of gaining that control with your brush. It is challenging. And how much paint to put on, and when is too much, and when is too little. And when in doubt, just really go light and then you can build those colors up. All right, one fun thing that we could do is pull another vein on this one, but we're not. We're gonna take a little brown. And so I'm taking, can you see this? Yep, I'm taking a little brown. And then I'm gonna take a little green and I'm gonna mix it in my palette and I want it to be more green than brown. So it's more of a, a leaf, a leaf green. And I kind of test it on my um, paper towel before I'm satisfied with it. 
It's like an army green, sort of. That's the best way, besides saying a leaf green. And I am going to just, I'm, I see that the compression of the middle of that vein is a little thicker. And I am going to just kind of pull those dashes in, a little heavier, darker green. Again, pull them with your flat brush. And then we'll pull some side um, veins. And don't try to, it's, don't make them too uniformed. And as I'm doing this, I'm trying to get things to curve too with my leaf. So it feels curvy. Now there I kind of screwed up, but I think I can get it to there. That looks better. Nice little value in there. I want to get a little bit more texture into this. There we go, that feels better. All right, now those next two leaves, I want to give you about 10 minutes, is that too much? Uh, to tr for you to try to do them. I want to walk around and start helping you individually for those last two leaves and see how it goes. Any questions? All right, I'll work my way